2022 marked a dramatic shift in the balance of power in Glory's welterweight division. Reigning champion Cedric Dumbay had vacated the title, and the throne appeared wide open for his biggest rivals to claim. But a new crop of rising stars entered the picture, and none of them made a bigger splash than Indy Similier. A champion under the infusion banner, Similier entered Glory with monumental expectations. In his promotional debut against Shakdran Vasili, he did not disappoint. Put everything together. Watch these combinations. Just like that! He kick fights well, boxes well, one, two straight uppercut. Similier's deciding to sit and come back. Oh, hey. and there's... Got the fans here pumped up as hey. well. Over and out! After defeating Vasily in his first appearance inside the glory ring, Similier propelled himself to the top of the division and earned a chance at the vacant title against perennial top contender Aline Nabiev. A multi-time title challenger, Nabiev owned a victory over Cedric Dumbe and represented the toughest competition of Similier's young career. It was an extremely close bout, but ultimately Similier got his hand raised and earned the welterweight championship. Vince is also a strong opponent that make a hard fight, and uh, I'm proud to win this. New welterweight champion of the world, Andy Semelier. Despite winning the title, fans and pundits alike expected a more dominant performance from Semelier, and many began questioning whether the newly crowned champion was truly the best in the world. However, nobody left the bout more dissatisfied than Semelier himself. I don't show everything today, but what I say, glory has just started. Just next time, you're going to see the bad news Andy again. More to prove than ever, Similier was determined to showcase his true potential when he defended his title against Doom Bay rival Myrtle Grunhart. Grunhart, a former welterweight champion himself, didn't believe Similier possessed true championship caliber skills, but Similier put those thoughts to rest in a hurry. Grunhart has the triple X tattoo on his back. Ooh, that's from the that city. Flipped up. They're gonna call that a knockdown? Whoa. They are! Dude. That left hook touched. Grunhart, but he just ate a right hand and his mouthpiece almost oh, dropped and him. down he goes again! One. Nightmare stuff here Dude. for the Predator! See, Semelier keep pressing, but I love that lead uppercut that he sets up so well. But again, all about changing angles with his punches. And inside low kick scores from Myrtle, but he ate a right hand and a big one. Similar's got to get some space. Oh, he took a nice angle. Oh, oh. intrigues you in this division? I say it a couple of times, I don't care. I'm ready for everybody. Oh, let me say it on the other way, bad news for everybody. Similier followed his sensational performance against Grunhart with a victory over Jay Overmeer, securing another welterweight title defense. Much like his fight against Aline Nabiev, Similier fought Overmeer extremely close, and questions surrounding the legitimacy of Similier's title became topical again. Considering Similier never had the chance to dethrone a reigning champ, along with the nature of the Nabiev and Overmere fights, these questions are to be expected. To put those questions to bed, Similier needs a signature victory, and on December 23rd at Glory 90, he'll have a chance to make his biggest statement yet when he defends his title for the third time against Anwar Uled Chaib. Uled Chaib is a prospect who earned his chance at the belt by winning the inaugural season of the House of Glory and only has three professional fights to his name. Heavily favored to win the bout, Similier knows that simply winning will not be enough. He needs to dominate.